Good morning. In today's landscape photography video, I'll be photographing the Malvern Hills from British Camp. So, first of all, I'd like to apologise. Um, my head's been racing last night, so I didn't get a wink of sleep. So, I have a face like a smacked ass, And also, I haven't shaved my lockdown beard yet. So, uh, I do apologise. But thankfully, it's uh, sunrise, so it's quite dark. So, you won't have to see a lot of this. Um, though, I do match my microphone, which is cool. So, the plan for today is to photograph um, the reservoir near British Camp um, for sunrise. Now, I didn't get a wink of sleep last night, so um, I was lying in bed and I was, looked at the weather app on my phone. And it said that there's going to be quite a bit of high cloud, but no mid or low cloud at all. So, that is pretty much <laughs> guarantee that we're going to get sunrise today. Um, also, there's going to be zero chance of rain. So, I thought I'm just going to get out of bed, and this is probably one of the best opportunities I can get for sunrise. So, let's see what we can get. There are still a lot of restrictions on um, on the hills for COVID-19, so I have to stay two metres apart from everyone, so I'm going to social distance, um, which isn't really a problem because I don't have any friends. So we're almost halfway up the hill and up behind you there we've got British Camp and if you can see there's a little dark tree just over there. That's um, a silver birch and I'm going to be photographing um, in that area. So what I'm going to do is carry on this path up to there and then I'm going to take a photograph looking that way with this beautiful reservoir in the foreground. Look at the size of this snake, it's massive. Um, it's either a cobra or a slow worm, but in case it's a cobra, I'm just gonna leave it alone. Okay, so it started to rain and there's 100% there's cloud cover. So it doesn't look like we're gonna get a sunrise this morning. Um, so, that weather forecast was a load of shit. Okay, so it looks like we're not going to get a sunrise today, but I'm going to be trying to stay positive. Um, as you can see, I'm in the, the location now. That was the silver birch tree that I was talking about. And we've got that reservoir just down there, and you've got a lovely backdrop of British camp over that side. And on the right hand side, we've got all the, the rest of the hills. Um, so it's just stopped raining at the moment and we've got these absolutely amazing clouds up in the sky um, which is the best place for them. So what I think I'm going to do is put a 10 stop neutral density filter over the lens and that will really darken the, um, the image and stop a lot of the light from getting into the, the sensor. So that will enable me to have a really long shutter speed. Um, it will probably be around three, maybe four minutes. So I'm going to set it up on the tripod um, and take the exposure and hopefully, even though the light is flat, I should get some interest in these stunning clouds moving across the scene. Okay, um, I managed to get that photograph. It's it was eight minutes rather than uh, the four, so it's uh, the weather's changed a bit and it started to rain, so I've had to shield the, the camera. One of the great things about having a really long sh um, shutter speed, such as eight minutes, is that <laughs> if you fall over in front of the camera, uh, which I did, 
um, it, you won't be picked up in the image. <laughs> right, it's gone extremely cold. Um, we've had a heat wave over the last couple of weeks and today it's just dropped. Um, so I'm gonna hang around for a bit, see if I can wait for sunrise if it does happen. But um, it's not looking too promising at the moment. Ooh. For a shameless plug, um, if you haven't seen my video from last week, um, if you can see that hill just over there, um, that's Midsummer Hill. And I took um, a photograph um, across this lovely expanse of trees here um, at sunrise. And I made a video of that, so I'm gonna to link to it up here or somewhere. Um, so if you haven't seen that, please take a look. Uh, and I did actually get a sunrise that time. Okay, it, uh, it started raining, so um, I've taken shelter in the uh, smallest cave in the world. I've come in here to get away from the rain. It's absolutely pouring down. It's gone really miserable. So I don't think I'm going to get any more photographs today. Um, it's been about th two, three hours after sunrise now. Um, so the light is just gone and I think the one shot that I got is that one long exposure of the clouds and I don't really think that will work because because it's such flat light and I've taken such a, a wide vista you really do need um, clouds and a bit of light on the scene and dappled shade all over to really give it some three-dimensional effect because if you have flat light um, just complete cloud coverage um, you don't get any really dynamic parts of it you don't get any hills standing out or you can't see the trees it all tends to blend into one so I really don't think that will work um, I might try turning it into a black and white but we'll see but it still hasn't been a waste of time um, I've seen a sparrowhawk um, a barn owl and I've seen a snake though technically I think it's a, a legless lizard so um, even though I don't think I've got a good photograph, um, it's really good to get out in the landscape and enjoy yourself. So I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up um, and like and subscribe if you haven't. And please leave me a comment to see what you thought. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.